Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I'm so excited that you showed up the channel today. Right now we are gonna continue our little series on multiple units of measure. That's right, the facility where you can receive in a big case or a big pallet uh, of, of your product from your vendor and then you can sell it in smaller little individual pieces like when you get a 24 pack of something and you split it out and you sell it by each or by single. Right now I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna set up and turn on and configure multiple units of measure. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask more questions about QuickBooks Point of Sale. People such as myself and other members of the community would be happy to answer your questions or talk about your errors or what have you. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe down below to get the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming out all the time. All right, here we are in QuickBooks point of sale. We are gonna go on the file menu into preferences and company. Now in the company preferences, you will find the inventory section on the left-hand side and you will click right below that for unit of measure. Here we are. This is where you are going to be able to set up and activate units of measure, and then you're going to brainstorm a little bit to figure out what your units of measure might be. So if you haven't already, you're going to go ahead and click the check mark right here saying, I want to set up multiple units of measure for inventory. So there's a couple of little examples here. Makes perfect sense if you order dog food in cases of 24 cans, but you sell them by the individual can, then this is something you are going to want to do. Um, you might receive nails in 30 pound boxes and sell one pound and five pound boxes. So there you could convert between one and another. Now up here, units of measure. And people get a little confused on this. They're like, okay, do I tell it how much a case is? Do I tell them how many, how many are in that? Well, no, this is gonna be really generic up here because I might get a case of Coke, but I might also get a case of dog food or a case of straws or forks or whatever. Uh, there's gonna be multiple different products in your store where you receive by a case and you sell by the each. So you're not gonna actually specify the different quantities here. You're gonna do that on an item by item basis where it makes more sense. And in uh, an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that on each individual product. But here, you're just going to brainstorm like, like really just very generically and think in your store of all the different types of um, sizes and cases and I'm having a hard time with the vocabulary of it. Different units, I guess. Units is part of, the, part of the vocabulary up here. So all the different units that you use in your store. For our example, like I talked about a little bit ago, uh, I'm gonna have boxes of highlighters. I get 12 in a box. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add box here because I'm ordering by the box. Um, trying to think of something else people order by. Maybe you order by the pallet. Maybe you get big, maybe you call your vendor and you're like, I need two pallets of miracle Grow seed or something like that. And then uh, each bag of miracle Grow is is gonna be sold by itself, you know? So maybe I'm gonna, maybe I will also order or add bag. Um, what else do people order by? I guess you could order by the package. I don't really know. There's probably a million different things. Uh, if you're in, in a, let's see, if you're in a store that does recipes or something like that, you could even get, or maybe you have a deli, you could even get down to the fact that you want to have pounds and ounces and gosh i don't know cups <laughs> uh you could definitely put some recipes together where you order big huge bulk 
amounts of something and you use a certain number of ounces when you make something. All of these things can be transferred from one into the other as long as you set up uh, the conversion correctly on an item by item basis and we will go through that very shortly. So this is just the setup. You are activating it. You are adding all of your different types of uh, ways that you order your products as well as ways that you sell your products. Some people might even, some, some stores might uh, order a bunch of stuff singly and they might actually want to um, sell it, sell a whole bag of it sell a whole package of it, sell multiples of it in one uh, large amount with one price tag. So that is kind of the way that a unit of measure could go in reverse. Um, I had a cigar store and of course they order cigars by the box. Some cigars come 40 in a box. Some cigars come 20 in a box. Uh, this method is going to open you up so that you set the default uh, unit, which might be each, you might sell the cigars, each cigar. But then once in a while, they got some guys that come in, they're like, give me a box of that, and give me a box of that. And so they have two prices. One price is for each, where they, of course, they make more money that way because each one has a markup. Uh, but then they also have uh, a certain markup and a price for the entire box and even though they accepted it from their vendor as a box they also have a price set for that box so when somebody wants to buy a box they don't type in 40 singles because that would be an outrageous price so they just switch over to the box and we will go through that and how you can choose that on your make a sale screen as well my name is Peter with BlackRock Business thanks for coming along on setting up your multiple units of measure if this video is great, go ahead and smash the like button down below and you have yourself an excellent day. All right, bye-bye.